Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a voiceover for this video. This is a video of me painting a tree frog on a piece of bamboo. I have been wanting to do this painting for a really really long time and decided to do it today. And on the day of recording this, which was day before yesterday with the voiceover, <laughs> it's been a hot minute guys and happy new year. Hope everyone had a great new year. But on this day, I painted a painting, which I'm debating right now on whether I should post on my channel or not, that I wasn't very proud of. I did not like how it turned out. I loved the background, but I just, I didn't like it. So, try and decide if I want to post it or not. And this is me straightening out my bamboo because I didn't like it leaning. I thought I would in the beginning, like just the leaning in but I like the straight up and down more because with the details and stuff, it's, it's just going to look better straight up and down. Um, this is a brush rinse or ounce or drying thing in front of my canvas, on the top of my canvas. Um, my husband got it for me for Christmas and it really does work and it really helps out a lot. Maybe I'll do a review on it so you guys know what it is. I'm pretty sure... I still have the box. Sorry, I'm looking. I don't see it, but I'm pretty sure I still have the box somewhere. So, if you guys want to see me do a review on that, just let me know. I might just do it anyway. <laughs> but I'm using Grumbrasher paints to do this piece, and I mixed black and blue in the background to try and give it a little of a dark night glow. You know how it is at nighttime. It's a little bit of blue, a little bit of black. But um, it it didn't come out like I expected. <laughs> but that's fine. And now I'm going in with my liner brush and working out the kinks of the little pieces of the side of the bamboo. Trying to thin out the paint that has chunks in it. And I'm talking to you guys about my kids. I could see <laughs> by my hand gestures, I'm going, kids are being loud, da da da. They have been on vacation this whole time, so it's been hard for me to do a video. So, hence the voiceover on this one. Now, this was a mistake. I'm telling you guys right now, I really, really disliked how light that green turned out. It was really hard for me to get the color right, but I do end up going back and fixing it later in the video. Here I am thinking about it going, uh, no, I'm sorry about my head. My head's just going to be in the video. I am so sorry about that. Now, this is going to be doing the shading and the shadowing of the bamboo. First, I go in and try and get the shadow of the frog put in. And I'm using a scrubbly brush, like a really dense scratchy brush to get the lines and the details in and the color and everything it looked really cool I really liked how it turned out so I will definitely be using that brush in the future but that's just something about me I really love tree frogs so I wanted to paint one here I am going back in making the shadow darker on the tree frog and I'm going to put in the piece of the bamboo. Is that the uh, the split, I guess? Or joint? <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Now this was the most difficult part of the painting. Was getting the blue and the under part of the frog the way I wanted it. I couldn't get it to to do right at first so I just walked away from it and I and this is me changing the color of that of that light green I did not like it at all so I'm going back in and making it a little darker yeah <laughs> um, there's a lot of commentary in this video a lot of jokes and stuff like that but I really really hate that I didn't have the the microphone that I'm using now and here I am making my frog skinnier because he's a little too fat. <laughs> oh, sorry about my head. I have to see what I'm doing. My looks like a bald spot almost. God, my hair was just 
out of control the day the day I painted this it was just like you're not going on camera don't even try it <laughs> so I'm sorry about my head keep popping in and out I do have a two camera setup this is what this was supposed to be I tried to do the like facing face on camera where you can see my face while I'm painting but I don't think you want to see that because I'm constantly biting my lip and you will see that in like little bits and pieces of this video if you pay attention enough you will see me biting on my lip and yeah there's a, there's a lot of nerve wracking <laughs> nerve wreckingness going on trying to get the shading and the shadows and all that right you see my hair is just sticking out everywhere but there I go you see where I put in the pink on his belly I tried again I stepped back and tried again and I was like nope I'm not ready yet not ready yet so if you're not ready for to do something on a painting don't be afraid to move on to something else you can always come back to it now this leg I had to make it look like it was bent so it kind of looks weird and here I am trying to blend the two together and still keep that shadow that's under his leg which is the black triangle there sorry about my head I'm trying to get that shadow in there and like his leg is wrapped around onto the bamboo it was a lot of fun it really really, really was here I am messing with the color of the frog again I should have left it alone <laughs> but I ended up fixing it in the end and I think that's why it took me four hours <laughs> like excuse my hair look at it it's just sticking out everywhere oh my god <laughs> This is embarrassing. <laughs> but this is a beautiful painting, I think, and I think you'll 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 find that it's worth it in the end <laughs> to see my crazy hair sticking out everywhere. Okay, now back to the shadows and the color underneath the frog. I had to darken it darken it up. And that was key. Underneath his arm and around where his arm bends, trying to make that round tip to his 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 leg sticking out there and then the striping the striping I thought would look really cool which it turned out to look pretty cool in the end I had to go over it a couple of times here I am making my frog skinnier again because he's still too fat <sighs> and I'm going around his eye with the green I'm straightening out this eye I think I spent way too much time on that eye to be honest with you the one by his hand. All right, here I go again, messing with the color. There was a lot of decisions I had to make, a lot. I decided to go onto his mouth because it would be easier. <laughs> I thought, you see me biting my lip. Yeah, sorry about that. My hair is just everywhere. I need to find like a hair, hair band or a headband, whatever they call them nowadays pull my hair back so it's not in my face when I'm recording my videos <laughs> here I'm gonna go and do the shadows in his eye the different shades of red and then around the outside with the green and here I am messing with that other eye again I make it smaller with the black and then I end up making it bigger later it's, it was just too much with his hand being up there I wanted it to be seen with his hand being up there it just drove me nuts i spent way too much time in the eye it's like leave it alone just move on next please okay so there was a dark blue where i just put that that color i think it was a really really dark blue and i i just i couldn't get it to look right so i just left it alone go back to it later and those little stripes on the back of his leg i made those the out of the alizarin crimson color at the bottom the bottom stripes this is me trying to get the shadows right on his arm up underneath the dark blue he's coming to life little by little excuse me i started to get a little bit afraid sorry that was a phone call i should have cut that part out but anyway i started to get a little bit afraid that it wasn't gonna be good enough so 
I took a break and I stepped back away from it and talked to people on the phone, <laughs> mainly my dad and my sister. But I got into it again and I started doing the little details. That's what the big brushes are in my hands. Those are hilltop brushes. They're fine liner brushes and they do very good detail, detail work. They're very good for it. I got those off of Amazon and I believe they were like $8 and I think they come in a set of six. Very nice set. I'm telling you, it's, it's in like a canvasy type paintbrush case. It's a really nice set. You should look them up. But here I am doing the shadows and the shading and trying to get more dimension into my painting. I take a minute to stop and think about what I'm doing. Always stop and think about what you're doing before you put down your brush because you could mess it up and ruin it even though it's pretty easy to go back and fix it like that. That turned out baby pink and I did not like how that turned out. And I will go ahead and fix it later. <laughs> but I step away from it again and go back to my frog. I bounce all around a lot and I find that works for me to bounce around in my paintings to get the, the detail and dimension that I need. The shading and the shadowing and all that. I think it turned out pretty nice. And here I am doing the, the shadows and the shading and his face and his, and his arms and his head and it's giving it more depth. Rounding off his arm and rounding off his body with putting the yellow and the green at the top and then the blue and the green at the bottom. And this is the little bend of his arm on his body. I went a little too dark, but I ended up going back in a minute after I fix this part over here. <laughs> there was so much I didn't like about it. I just kept going in. It's like, I need to fix this. I need to fix that. I need to fix this. Just bouncing around everywhere. That's, that's how I got it done. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. But I'm getting the shadows in underneath him getting it all done doing a little light reflection in the bamboo that's what that white is for and then I go back over it because I didn't like it and then I try again <laughs> this it's all a learning process I wanted this to look amazing so I took the time to get every little detail right here I am doing the shadows on his feet the little toes his toes and then underneath his arm and then again, I'm doing his toes, getting in between his toes, the lights and the darks. It's all about shadowing and shading. It makes a big difference in a painting. It gives it depth and dimension. This was a problem. You see me stop and think about that. Like, how can I get his leg at the bottom to not blend in? not blend into the um, bamboo and it never it never occurred to me apparently because I turn around and look at the painting that I did it never occurred to me to do a shadow underneath his foot which I should have and you know I can go back and fix that yeah I can go back and fix that <laughs> now that I see it and I'm looking at it I can go back and fix that that's not a problem Um, again with the shadows and the shading on his feet it's just it's hard to see on the camera but there in person you can tell each individual toe looks pretty refined and detailed down to the knuckle excuse my hair oh my god okay here I am with the big toes at the top Just working it out. He really looks cool though. I think. I haven't been on in a while and I'm sorry about that, but like I said, the kids are out on vacation, so it's been hard to record a video. So then this this video I wanted to make worthwhile for you guys. I want it to be something I find amazing and very detailed. I love tree frogs. This is I could do this all day. <laughs> I, I love them. I have two in my house right now. I own two tree frogs. 
They are dumpy, tr dumpy white tree frogs. I don't want to get blasted about not saying it right. But I love them to death. One of them's name is Kermit, and the other one is name is Schubert. Very, very adorable frogs. Here I am adding more of those lines with that brush. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> I should have put the shadow. I'm sitting out. It took me forever. Like, it's three days later, and now I just figured out all I had to do is just put a shadow under his bottom foot. It was driving me nuts. I wish you guys understood that. <laughs> the here I am putting a knot in the bamboo because I thought that would be something different at the bottom, which I just could have put a shadow in, but anyway. <laughs> So in the lines on the bamboo. Sorry about my hair. This took a good bit of a time to get the details. And that that is what I think is the most important part of this whole thing. Here I am doing the line around the uh, joint of the bamboo. I'm doing the line around it. Kind of like I tried to get a brownish color, but it ended up being like a uh, a reddish tint a reddish brown color which is fine I mean it still looked pretty damn good I think sorry about my head oh my god I have got to move that camera back I think I'm all working it out guys trying to figure out how to bring you guys these beautiful paintings so you can see that it takes it takes some time and thinking to get these done there are a few things left to do, and that is to work out the shading on his body, which I'm pretty sure this is where my head's going to come in big time. So sorry about that. Here I am thinking about it. <laughs> when my brush is not on the canvas, I am thinking, and my brain is on fire. Now I'm putting like a yellowish brown color to his lip so you could dis define it. See the, la, la, la. So you can see the difference between his body and his lip. Anyway, more definition, more dip. Here I am biting my lip again. My hair is in a way. Sorry about that. I will fix it, I promise. Sorry about that, guys. I had to run out and blow my nose and get something to drink and all that stuff. You know, sinus problems and everything. Speaking of sinus issues, I will be having surgery on the 14th. Today is the 2nd of January. Okay, so let's see if we can do this one more time. Okay, so again, I'm just doing shadow and shading at this point. I've said it a thousand times. This is me using lid paint, meaning the lid, the cap to my paint to get paint because I didn't want to put it on my palette because my palette was already full. As you can see, there's like no more room for paint. And somewhere in the acrylic rule book, it should state that you should not put wet paint on top of dry paint because dry paint will crumble up your paint and make it all grimy and gross when you put it on the canvas. But anyway. Uh, yes, I will be having surgery on the 14th of January. So I hope to see you guys after that. I'm a little nervous, a little scared, but hey. I gotta do it so I can breathe and, and sound better for my videos because... As, as the time right now, I sound like I'm drowning or something. <laughs> so here I am picking up my painting going, okay, what next? What do I have to shade in detail now? Think about it, think about it, think about it. I take it off the freaking thing. I don't know why. I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, straightened out his head. Excuse my head. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I still, I still don't see it. The thing on their foot is driving me crazy. I just could have put some shadow there. That's all I needed. And now I'm going to add in my shading and my, my definition to his belly. And this, to me personally, is what brings the painting together. Because it is the whitest part of the painting. And by adding that shadow in detail, it just makes it pop. Now you see there I took out the dark blue and added a lighter color of blue and then added darker blue and then added more white to get that color I wanted for his his underbody part. Now I'm going to go in and highlight the white after I'm finished with that. Didn't think I was still going to be working on it, but I may give it a little darker. <coughs> 
excuse me guys, after sneezing and having to blow my nose, it's kind of hard to talk right now. <clears throat> so I'm getting the shadow around his arm that is reflecting there, getting in my grays and my whites under his belly to make him pop out more. And this really does bring the piece together. I worked really, really hard on it, and I'm very, very proud of it. This this is one of the best ones I've done, I believe. I know I think I said that about my, my panther painting, but my panther painting doesn't pop off the canvas like this one does. This one just jumps out at you. And I really like, really, really like how that turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm going in with the darker blue at the bottom, fixing his bottom leg finally. Getting that shading I want, the color variation that I needed in there. And then covering up that baby pink. Ha ha. Goodbye, you ugly baby pink. And I finish it off with my finger. I smear in this like grayish color. Made it look pretty cool though. I think it turned out quite nice. Here I am messing with those freaking toes again. Sorry guys, I'm back. I just coughed during my narration <laughs> anyway. I wanted to take that out before I ruined the video. I probably have already ruined the video of my head in a way. But hopefully the art speaks for itself and you just ignore my gray ugly hair sticking out everywhere. You have to excuse me guys. But... I think that's it. It looks like that's it. I am signing it off and I would like to say thank you for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button. If you want to see more, then hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. See you next time, guys. Bye.